How'd you feel out there today? Felt really confident. Um, just trying to play play quarterback today, not trying to do anything outside myself. What are the biggest steps you think you've, you've taken this spring? I think um, mentally feeling a lot better about you know knowing where guys are, knowing where the checkdowns are, just trying to get completions. That's what we're, we're what we're trying to accomplish this spring, and I think we've done a really good job of that. How do you feel about just overall about the weapons that you guys have added this off season so far? You know, with Nair and Banks and Barney, it seems like a, a, a different um, a different type of offense. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously last year we had some attrition that affected um, some of our explosive explosiveness. Um, and we had some young guys who had to step up. And, you know, out of all those guys that you just mentioned, you know, Malachi's not back yet. You know, I mean, we've still got guys who are being held out for the spring um, that will come back and, you know, be a big part of our offense. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, having those guys and then having the scheme – to be able to stretch the field, but also be able to get completions like we were talking about. Um, you know, stretch the field, you know, if it's third and eight, stretch the field, hit a check down, get to fourth and two, maybe we go for it. How was the helmet communication, just having that in a kind of a, a game situation today? Yeah, I mean, so for us, we had it last spring. Um, and then for, for me at least, um, last year with the signals, I mean, once you yeah, you almost become fluid in signals. Um, so the helmets help a little bit for me, um, but not not a ton just because of, you know, how – I mean, it gets to a point where, you know, Coach Sat or someone may just say the first word of the play and, like, you just automatically know what the play is. Um, and that's experience, but I think it helps those two younger guys a lot. Um, but, you know, I think by, by the start of the season, those two guys will be at that point too where, you know, we know we can kind of anticipate what kind of play we're going to call. Um, and even if, you know, we can't hear the whole play call, you know, that's something that we can just hear the first couple words and go from there. How is competing against, well, specifically Dylan, helped you to elevate your game? Yeah, I mean, um, last year with Jeff and Chubba, um, those guys had a different element. Um, and then, you know, with Dylan and Danny, um, you know, those guys are almost entirely different from Jeff and Chuba. Um, and then, you know, also with the goal of this year being completions, you know, just trying to get that completion percentage up, uh, I know for me at least. Um, so, yeah, having those two, um, you know, they're, those are really – those are two of the best freshman quarterbacks in college football. Um, I believe that. I mean, I've, I've seen – what, three classes of freshman quarterbacks come in now. Like, none of them have, you know, come in as prepared as those two have and had the mindset like those two have. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I do things um, that I have different strengths. So working on those strengths as well. Um, so competing with myself every day as well. How did you feel about your throwing motion being back live snaps in, in Memorial Stadium? Yeah, I mean, that was something that, Coach Rule and I had talked about after the last season, and it's by no means anywhere close to where I want it to be. Um, I'm going to keep working this summer um, on that, and um, part of that's just footwork and being even more um, comfortable in the pocket. You know, not getting not getting antsy in the pocket. Uh, how has working with Coach Glenn helped you this off season? Yeah, I mean he's been a he's been a part of the feet part. Um, you know, he's really helped me settle down my feet, um, getting in the right spot, um, and mentally knowing where to go with the ball, um, just getting completions again. I mean, I, that, that's really been stressed so much this spring. Like, that's when it keeps coming up like this, I, th I think that tells a whole lot about what they wanted from us. Um, and hopefully we showed that today. I don't know if, the, if, if it was just a – expansion of using the tight ends and the flats today or if that was a new wrinkle in the offense but what do you think about throwing it to Thomas or to any of the tight ends who are out on the edges of the field yeah and I mean once again completions you know just getting the ball in play outside the box um, anytime you can do that there's a chance um, you know getting a corner to try and tackle Thomas try and tackle Nate you know get get him on those guys like Things are going to happen. You know, that's a first down, move the chains, start it all over again. And um, no, we had it last year. In fact, I mean, that was 
So my first play at Minnesota as a tight end was that play exactly, just coming across. Um, and so we've had that in. Um, you know, I think, shoot, I think one of my first, I think I had two or three touchdowns last year off of plays like that. We're just trying to get in the flat in the red zone. You know, they load up the box. Let's get it out in the perimeter um, and, you know, let those guys run them over and make a miss. How would you characterize the number of weapons that your quarter, the quarterback's disposal maybe compared to last year? Um, you know, I think, you know, like I said, I mean, there, we've got some transfers, um, but also I think a lot of these freshmen taking steps, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, Demetrius Bell got hurt today. Um, he's, I think he's going to come back and he's going to be a huge part of this offense. Um, he's a weapon that's been used all spring. And I think when he gets back healthy, he'll be a big part. But, you know, we've got the transfers. We've got the guys who stepped up last year. And we, I mean, obviously, you know, have Ja'Cory Barney, some of those freshman receivers who are going to take steps and um, compete for um, reps out there. Yeah, I mean, he's. I think he showed what he's been showing us all spring. Um, you know, he's a um, he's a deep threat, but at the same time, I think his route running is going to become elite and make him um, make him a threat at you know three different levels. Um, I think it gets to a point where you know if the corner's eight yards off, we flip it out there and you know let him do his thing because I mean I, I don't know if there's an athlete out there who can tackle him one on one. Do you approach the summer as your number one, number two, or does it even matter? No, I'm approaching it as I'm the incumbent. Um, going to keep working as the starter. Um, and I know those other two will as well. And that's what's going to drive this room to be great is, you know, all of us every day competing for that number one spot, um, each of us having the mindset that we're going to be the starter. So I think that's, that's what will take this room to another level with all the talent that we have all the weapons that we have. Um, and, you know, it's not going to be a clash of, you know, a clash of RAM. You know, we're not going to go head to head. You know, we're going to work together, but at the same time, compete. All good. All right. Thank you.